KCN Life and Style Artistic Tuesday. Beautiful, beautiful vocals there from Shiano Maimba. And right now we're going to get right down into it. Hey, we have someone very special in our building right now. As you can see, he's looking like he's just ready. He's ready for this. This is Nelly Mcharaji. We're going to get into conversation, obviously, from his title. You already know what he does. He is an artist. Welcome to the show, Nelly. Thank you so much. All right. Tuangalashe, how did you start, you know, with this whole art business? So, uh, during high school days, I used to, you know, draw the diagrams, mm -hmm. like the teacher comes to class and says, uh, can I have, my name is Nelson, by the way, Nail is a short form for, for Nelson. Okay. So, the teacher would say things like, uh, Nelson, can you do a diagram for us because I used to do it so quick. Mm -hmm. So, that's when I realized that I have a... Uh, a talent in drawing. Mm -hmm. So after Form 4, I kind of uh, let it go. Mm -hmm. You know, when you finish Form 4, you want to work here and there and all that. Mm -hmm. But then in 2015 now, that's when I decided to use it fully, mm -hmm. commercially. Mm -hmm. So as we speak now, this is my full-time career. Mm -hmm. This is what pays my bills. Mm -hmm. This is my profession. Okay. Yes. All right. And where does your inspiration come from? I can already see some some drawings here. I'm seeing my baby girl, my best friend, you yes. know, with Girls for Life. <laughs> Rihanna over there. And I can see our beautiful Aggie, the yes. dance queen. So where does your inspiration come from? Uh, at the moment, I, I draw with... Uh, if something trends, mm -hmm. if something is trending, mm -hmm. like for instance, uh, when Agi, the dust queen, was trending during the Salty Soul uh, short and sweet mm -hmm. song, so I did the art. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but mostly, most of the arts I do, they are portraits, they are paid by clients. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the ones I do are just for showcasing. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if you call me here, I can't just say I'm an artist, I have to show something. Mm -hmm. So the ones like for Rihanna mm -hmm. and uh, the Salty Soul and uh, what have you, those ones I do them just to showcase yeah. like if somebody asks what do you do this is what i do and then i show him mm -hmm. yes all right so you know how much would it cost for me <laughs> if i wanted my own portrait which i do by the way yes. if you can hook me up that would be awesome <laughs> so how much would it cost um, so uh, i charge my portraits mm -hmm. based on the number of people mm -hmm. and the size of the art okay so for a normal size normal size is size like three like this one mm -hmm. I charge 3,500 okay. Kenyan shillings for one person. Right. If there are two people on the same same size, yeah. it goes to 5,000. Mm -hmm. If there are three people, it goes to 6,500. Mm -hmm. So basically, for any additional person, mm -hmm. you add an additional of 1,500. Okay. Yes. All right. And then there's the bigger size. Okay. That one, I don't have one here. Mm -hmm. But there's the bigger size, which is size A2. Mm -hmm. That one starts from 9,500. Yeah. Then there's the bigger biggest i think not yeah. even bigger Do you something like close a, to this something yeah. close to this to that? Uh -huh. mm, probably three quarters of this yeah. Yeah. that is size the one mm -hmm. that one i start from eighteen thousand five hundred mm -hmm. for one person okay yes all right so it sounds you know you're getting the guap you're getting the money <laughs> so let me ask you about what goes into this like yes. in terms of finance you know mm -hmm. working hours for young people out there who feel like you know i want to be an artist yes. what give them an idea of what it's like when you're going in at first uh when when, when you start art uh, it's like music there's always struggle you have to struggle here and there because you're not known most people they don't know you and you know as much as everybody wants to be drawn it's very hard for somebody to pay for art mm -hmm. it needs some convincing that he or she is doing the right thing mm -hmm. so with art whenever you start there are challenges mm -hmm. and then there are those like when you're so good there are those people who start telling you you're using some software some uh, applications yeah. from uh, Play Store or something. Mm -hmm. So what you do uh, when you start, you just have to go, you know, it's, it's a process mm -hmm. for you to, to get to that top whereby people now know, oh, who is naming Choraji? Mm -hmm. He does this and this and this. Mm -hmm. You have to, it's just step by step, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. But eventually you will reach there. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So that's definitely very interesting because I know there are many young people who struggle thinking, oh my goodness, what is it going to take for me to start this business? Is it expensive? And what not? Now, I want to go deeper, deeper into the art itself. So tell me, what do you use? What are your, what are your tools of the trade when you're drawing? So I... 
I specialize, I work predominantly with uh, colored pencil arts, mm -hmm. uh, colored pencils uh, on, on paper mm -hmm. or on board. These are board and these are paper that we use when you, when you use colored pencil. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason I started colored pencil is because if you check into, into, into Kenyan art scene, mm -hmm. you'll see that most people, they do paintings. Yeah. Paintings are, are the ones that are done most. Even if you go to the art galleries, art exhibition, you find paintings. Mm -hmm. And then uh, of late, there's a, a huge, uh, a very large, uh, large uh, artists coming up with the graphite. Graphite is the pencil, the yeah. black and white one. Mm -hmm. So I decided to come up with something a bit different. Mm -hmm. So I started using the colored pencils. Mm -hmm. Now these colored pencils, the one I use, yeah. <laughs> believe it or not, they're the same, same colored pencils the nursery school kids use wow. when they, they, they're given to like they're given a, a structure of a tree and they're told to shade, to shade you yes. know those colored pens yes of these course ones. yes these are the ones i use show so, us show us you can do it you guys these are the ones i use even with for, the baby pencil yes i use uh, the colored pencils the normal, the, the normal these are the, the pencils when you take your your kid to nursery baby class they are in most schools, they are required to have this to showcase the, just to, to, to make them interesting. So they are, they are given like a, a, a tree structure, an animal, they are taught to, 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 to use the colored pencils to put color in them. So this is what the nursery school uh, children use. But then I, I, I noticed I'm so good with them. When I use them, I, I bring out the, uh, the same art, the, Pencil artists use. That's what I bring out, but in color. So that's when I started using these uh, colored pencils. Yeah. Yes, and uh, now this is. Uh, I can say this is now my. <laughs> this is the main tool. Yeah. That some there are those quality ones that you have to import. Yeah. You can't get them in Kenya. So I've imported some of them, but mainly I just use the the, the available ones. Yeah. Yes. It really is quite simple. Yes. I didn't know that it was that simple. And you managed to capture my bestie Rihanna, as uh -huh. I said, you guys. You know, we go way, way back. You captured her. That's how she looks in person, yes. by the way. So you <laughs> got it to a T. So let's talk a bit about yourself because yeah. I can see you're looking very <laughs> colorful. So. It's that.